With advancements in technology and development, solar energy systems like this are fast becoming the new choice for thousands of Australians who are looking for a more cost-effective and environmentally friendly source of energy for their homes. Over many years, solar panels have become more efficient, they create more kilowatts of power and the cost of installing solar panels has been lowered due to better technology and government rebates. New developments in solar panel technology have increased the capacity to generate power in extreme conditions of light and shade. The new panels are made up of various thin film materials which are bonded directly onto glass, metal and plastics, giving you more options when it comes to harnessing maximum energy. Now I want to give you a demonstration showing you the difference between two types of solar panels. What I have here is a crystalline solar panel and this one is a Kanika thin film version. It's more modern. Now I've got a water pump and it's connected to the crystalline solar panel. I'll just submerge it now. There we go. Now watch what happens when I introduce a little bit of shade. All right, let's connect it up to the thin film Kanika version. Okay, drop in the pump once more. There she goes. I'll introduce some shade. There you go. The pump still works with the Konica thin film solar panel, even when shaded from the sun. So there you have it. Thin film panels like this are considered second generation panels. They tend to be more cost effective and have better features than first generation panels. Thin film panels perform better in shade, take only one five hundredth of the silicon and less energy to manufacture and have excellent heat tolerance compared to crystalline panels. Heat tolerance is important, especially in Australia where the climate is warming up and it can make a huge difference to the amount of power you generate over a year. The panels also help insulate your home, making it cooler in summer. To get the maximum effect, consider the position of your house and the angle and position of your panels so you get the most out of your solar panels. Most people will install systems that are between 1500 to 2000 watts. This is enough to be able to run an entire energy efficient home. Solar panels cost between $6,000 and $60,000, depending on the type of technology you use, how large your roof is and how much energy you consume. So to find out more, contact Solar Shop Australia on 1300 Sun Power or visit the Solar Shop website to find out what's on offer in your state. Now next week we're visiting a sun farm where one clever farmer is making a lot of money from the sun.